Wednesday is on acknowledgement and respect, and I'm going to give you some information about that, also how to get the most out of it, and you can call people in. I'm going to call a few people in that can't be here. What that means is, I call them in, meaning I acknowledge who they are, I invite their energy, their essence to be in the room. When I do, I see them. Okay, so we've got people that are, like some people that are regulars that come that can't be here, and people that are in other states, other countries that want to be here and are not, are, are not able to do the live webcast thing. So they get to come, or they get to come. I'll show up. I actually had one woman in, uh, where is she? She's in Canada. And she came in last Wednesday, you know, energetically. And she said she felt our presence. She felt us. She had the experience and, and she felt movement and really cool things. So it really does work. How does it work? Okay, energy, everything's energy. You know that already, okay? So if we kind of lose the mind thoughts and any kind of misperceptions of reality that we have, energy is everything and energy can be shifted and moved and transmuted and transformed when we know how to do that. Okay, so I've been doing this a long time and I've worked with groups for many, many, many years, large groups, and can lead these groups and, and affect change. Part of what happens, what I'm going to have you do today, for some of you that are new and haven't been here before, once we get started, even though I'm right here in the room with you, or you're in the room with me, either way, I'm going to still have you ask for me to be right beside you. So you're just going to ask for my presence to be with you. You guys, this is not a big deal. You can do this too. Okay? In fact, people that are going to be leading groups and teaching in larger audiences, I encourage you to, to practice and play with that because it's much more effective. What will happen is you'll feel me right there. What that does is that part of me is able to tune in to you and work with you as though you're the only person here. Okay? So even though I'm here leading it, my awareness, just as your awareness, is expanded. We can be anywhere, any dimension, any time and space. We are, there's no limitation to where we can be. Immediately, instantly, there's no barriers. So calling me in lets me be with you, okay? Also, to get the most out of the experience, you know, I keep finding more and more that people really don't understand what I'm telling you. It's like, this kind of trips me out a little bit, but, you know, I'm trying to be clear, but... <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm familiar with it and you're not. Maybe that's what it is, okay? So, any issue, and I know that that's like vast, broad, okay? But let me, let me narrow it down a little bit when I think about different, just recently. Um, okay, so someone's experiencing like, um, like feeling held back, that, you know, like in their work or in their job or in their life, in their relationship. Sometimes there's an actual physical sensation, like you feel like you're starting to move forward in life, and you can literally feel like a, wow, it feels like I'm like physically held back, okay? Uh, so however that makes you feel is what I want you to light up. And when I say how that makes you feel, I'm not talking about what you think in your mind. You have to drop the mind. And you have to be in your own self. So for example, if I say, you know, just to feel into how that makes you feel. Well, when you're being held back, is it frustrating? Is it annoying? Is it sad? Is it angry? Whatever that feeling is, let it be there. Now keep in mind, that's the initial feeling that you have conscious awareness of. Okay, and... Through the chair. Yeah, you can just be up there. You can lay down. You, you're going to use the table. You can lay down. <laughs> so, the, the key is, Go into the feeling, and then once you are accessing and experiencing that initial feeling, that's your conscious feeling. That will get you nowhere. Now, underneath that, feel how does that, because once you're in it, once you stay right there, the feeling will be there, okay? And then after that happens, then you sink in underneath, and we keep going as deeply as you can until you can't find any deeper feelings, okay? So, also, come on over here, you can sit right here. <laughs> or we can grab another 
Paul, can you grab another? There's more chairs behind the I'll screen. I'll sit there. That looks comfortable. As okay, long go as ahead. Go ahead. No, they won't see you. No one's going to see you. That's good. Okay. So another one, another one. So someone who has an issue with dogs. Okay. So when there's a there's a energy with dogs, we are going to need more chairs. Paul. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, Trixie. So you, when you think about that, like you don't like dogs. Okay, so when you think about dogs, let yourself just feel into how does it feel when you think about dogs. When you drop in, sometimes you might start to feel like there's some fear or anxiety. That's what you go after. Because as you're letting yourself feel, energy lights up and it presents. And it shows me what's in the way. Okay? So the key is the feeling. Not your thought about the feeling, or not your thought about the issue, but the actual feeling. Okay? We'll do a couple more with that, too, um, just before we start. And then also, when we call somebody in, I want to back up because I didn't finish telling you about calling someone in. When you want someone to be in the room to get a clearing, literally, hold them in your awareness, ask for their presence to be here. And, the, and I see them, I'm not joking. Their energy presents and they're right here on an energy level and they receive a clearing, okay? So it does, you, don't have to, you don't have to know what's going on for them. All you do is hold them in your awareness, bring them in, and then forget about it, okay? Your job's done once you bring them in, okay? So what we're dealing with, topic specific, which is really cool, and I know sometimes people think, oh, that topic doesn't, doesn't apply to me. Guess what? <laughs> Every topic in humanity applies to you. It may not be like a big issue, and yet you will feel change and something will loosen up and lighten up in your life because there is energy in your body from your in incarnational experiences. And again, it doesn't matter what your beliefs are. This is not about beliefs. But know that you are a divine being, creator incarnate, and you have energy in your energy field that comes from wherever you have been, wherever you have experienced life. Okay? That gets seated in your soul imprint. If you're alive right now, even the people that are coming in with this higher level um, wakefulness and accelerated consciousness, they're not newbies. This is not their first rodeo, I'm telling you. They have been around. They're usually ancient. Okay, so we have some people in class that are ancient. In fact, one of them's here right now. <laughs> yeah, so he's from another, another galaxy, another dimension, but he's got abilities and skills that are beyond what we normally see with people coming in to do this kind of work. It's really cool. So the point is, is that whatever, the, whatever it is, <coughs> Just let yourself just kind of feel into it. And you, you also have the option of whatever it is, if you want to work on something different, you can do that. Okay? You, all you do is hold it in your awareness, hold the feeling, and then let it go. And then you'll come back to it, feel it again, let it go, and then see what happens. Okay? This kind of work can actually clear things so the energy's gone. You don't have the reactions, you don't have the thoughts, the feelings. Completely, 100% over, finished, complete. Sometimes, you know, like group clearings, it's going to take longer than an individual session, but group clearings are like really affordable, they're easy. That reminds me, our membership is going to be coming in the fall, and in the membership, you'll be able to get these recordings and listen to them repeatedly, rather than coming in one time. Okay? So that gives you that ability to just, okay, I want, I need more, I need more, I need more on that particular issue, and each time it's gonna get less and less and less and less and less, okay, until it's gone, okay? All right, okay, so respect and acknowledgement. Sometimes we think, oh, that's not a big deal. Well, for some people, it's a real big deal, for others, it's not, and it affects everyone, okay? So, as you know, you already know this, this is not new for you, you reflect all right, the people in your world reflect your inner world. So if you experience any times where people just don't acknowledge you or they negate you or you know, shame you or humiliate you or just feel there's a sense like there's no honoring or respecting you or acknowledging you, that's happening inside of you. 
It's not happening out there. In fact, nothing is happening out there <coughs> that you haven't created within your own self and drawn to you. Okay? So you are, remember, you are creator incarnate. You are creation embodied in physicality. You're constantly creating. This is, when they say you're made in the image of God, you are made in that image of being the creator, creating, constantly creating. Every, all of your life, you have created and drawn to you. 100%. There's no 50%, there's no 90%. <laughs> it's 100%. Most people don't like that. <laughs> Most people are like, no way, don't tell me that, okay? But it's true, okay? We can't be going, you're the reason I feel this way, you're the reason I'm not successful, you're the cause. It's not true. It's us, 100%. Okay? So with feeling that energy of feeling respect or honoring, acknowledgement, that's going to come from past experiences. So that's what we're going to be clearing, working with, is all this past experience, all these times before. Also, in your family bloodline, your lineage, your DNA, your genes, things get passed through. Okay, so if something happened even a thousand years ago in your family and someone gets traumatized or shocked, that trauma and shock that's in them gets passed through their, their body through their genes, through their DNA, because the DNA actually is affected by your experience. They're, they can prove it. I've seen it. I was knowing about this way back in the 90s, early 90s. They're showing and proving it even more today. Like even doing emotional clearing kind of work, your DNA changes. Clearing things from your life issues, your DNA changes right then and there. So in your family lineage, everything that comes through gets passed down, and you're going to be affected by it. Also another thing that people have a tendency to, to think is that they're having a memory of a past life. This always cracks me up. Oh yeah, I remember my past life. I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. <laughs> I'm looking at their body going, oh, wait a second, let me see, is that really a past life? No, let me take that out. Oh, oh, past life's gone, you can't remember it? That's because it wasn't a past life. That's because it's an entity. <laughs> Which, let me just touch on that, because, you know, in some of the traditional shamanic practices or even uh, different um, healing modalities, that, that even hypnotherapy has entity removal, okay? But most of them are looking at maybe just a couple or a few entities in your body. I'm here to tell you, I'm here to enlighten you, that you have hundreds, sometimes over thousands, sometimes thousands of other entities in your body. Every single issue that you have is going to attract the same frequency and you will bring more of that into your physical body. Okay? So if you have stuff around, okay, so people always put me down, no one respects me, my kids don't respect me, no one acknowledges me, well, guess what? You're going to have more and more and more of the same in you because whatever you hold inside, whatever you've come in with your, with your soul imprint, you have that frequency that literally sends energy out and then attracts to you, brings it back to you. So whatever that is, whether it's the really positive or the negative, doesn't matter. You will bring more to you. If you haven't been claiming your body, how many of you really know that this is your body, your temple, and that you need to claim it as your own? If you don't, others will claim it for you. Okay? So if you haven't been doing that all of your life, and you just start recently doing it, well, you still have other things in you. You may have finally closed the door to stop letting them in, but you still have a house full that haven't left yet. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things in the group clearing, in the clearings, is that we are releasing beings, entities, from your physical body. Now, people come into your body because they're also matching your frequency, whatever that is, so think about everything in your life that you have 
either a judgment on or that you feel isn't working for you or you feel unloved or unworthy or incompetent. Anything that you're feeling, you, you guys, you can feel within your own selves when you have blocks. You can feel where you're not totally open and totally expanded. You can feel it. So all those places where you're not totally expanded and totally completely open and completely liberated and free, there will be more of the same inside. Even illnesses, even physical pain. I've seen, I've seen people totally walk off the table, no pain, gone. Just like that, because it wasn't theirs. Other beings in your body, their illnesses, their um, diseases, whatever they died with. Sometimes they're crippled, sometimes they're blind, sometimes they just have ailments, sometimes they have diabetes or whatever, whatever, cancer, all those different things. So you're taking that on in your physical body. When they're gone, it's gone, which is really cool. Okay, so point is, is you have a lot of energies in you that are not you. So some people, when they first come, or they're coming, even when they've been coming a long time, start to feel nervous when they're coming because what's inside is knowing they're leaving. <laughs> You got to be evicted. I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they so your body starts to get nervous, and you're thinking it's you, and it's not. What's really cool too is some of your thoughts that you think is yours, and we take out the entities that are contributing to those thoughts, and all of a sudden you can't find those thoughts. That kind of trips you out a little bit because you go, your mind will keep looking and looking and looking, and pretty soon it will give up because it's gone, which is really cool. So. <clears throat> Receiving, acknowledgement, just that ability to receive. So right now what I'd like you to do, to do is just really just kind of be in your body, bring your awareness, feel yourselves. And when you think about things like, you know, pe being really respected or being really acknowledged, someone really appreciating you and honoring you. So when I say those words, notice what it feels like in your body. You know, some of you it's going to feel good, might feel more expanded, some might just feel some, like, a little bit of energy, some might feel a little bit of blockages, none of it really matters, but I just want you just to feel into that so that you, you get a sense of what's happening in your physical body. Okay, just notice how that feels, okay? So if I say to you, you know, you're an awesome being, it's like, wow, what, you're, what you bring to the world is really, really tremendous, how you help people and affect change, or... Just your presence alone affects people in a really positive way. What happens in your body? Can you just, does that feel good? Does it feel like, wow, that's really true? It's like, yes, yes, yes. Or is there like, er, no. <laughs> Slight resistance, okay? So in that slight resistance, there's gonna be lots of interference, okay? So right now, as you're just letting yourself feel into that, I want you just to, in your own mind, in your own, you know, within your own thoughts, just, the, just saying to yourself, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm really an awesome being. I am really, really honored, I'm appreciated, I'm acknowledged, I'm respected with everyone that I know, with people that meet me for the first time, even those who have known me for a long time. I really feel that. And notice how that rings true inside of you. Okay, just feeling what happens within. And then I'm, I just want to remind you as well, you know, sometimes we think or we believe that we feel other people's emotions or we feel other people's thoughts or we feel their pain or we feel their joy. That's not true. You cannot feel somebody else. What you're feeling is you. You're only feeling yourself. Okay? So... Right now, you're also going to be giving permission, so we're going to take your awareness. We're actually going to do a few things a little different than what we've normally done. But we're going to take your awareness, because in the light, okay, you all heard about the light. You all know about the light. Everybody knows about the light, okay? So when you actually leave your physical body and you do go into the light, there's that place where you are connecting with others, that family, soul families, all of that. But then, the, but then after you've done that, before you incarnate, you're going to go into a higher frequency of the light. That frequency is so bright that if you had eyes, you would be blinded. 
But the thing is, is you are not in a physical body. You are not in any kind of physicality at all. You have dropped all of the threads and all the attachments to what your physical body is or was, and now you're in a state of awareness, pure awareness. So even right now, if you just feel your own awareness, if you just take yourself into your awareness, it's, it's, it's that expanded sense that every sentient being has and is, and we are all the same awareness. So right now, as you are expanding and just being in that state of awareness, just for a moment, just be there for a moment, just know that everyone in this room and everyone on the planet is in and shares and is this same awareness.